Hello again to part four of Nighttime Shadows, and um, it's the house. We knew it was coming. Yep, this could be the final part, though. At least I hope so. I mean, there was nothing before the house. Can't remember how many chapters there were in total in the last one. There can't be any more than five. I don't know. Uh, hang on. Click here to move. Okay, this is slightly different. Ooh, oh, it's got the movement. Hang on, have we got the... F I'm assuming it's the same method, you've got to flash your torch uh, to get rid of him. Okay, right, so we've got the kitchen, and we've got over there, and there's one room at the top. I run up... Woof! <laughs> I nearly didn't see him. Ooh! Okay, he's in two places at once. That doesn't seem very fair, does it? I may struggle with this. <gasps> the music has got a bit more... Oh, he is absolutely everywhere. Be warned, people, if you do have issues with flashing imagery, as chances are I'm going to be doing it a lot. Oh, go down. The music has got more dramatic. I quite like it. I hope it's not copyrighted. YouTube gives me that issue quite a lot. I like my room. Get out of my house. I wonder if there's an explanation later on for why I was in the hospital in the first place. I don't think the tape will explain it. Like my books. I like the house though. I think uh, it looks better than the previous house I was in. There's more colour. Some... What was that? What? Ooh! He appeared twice. Okay. I think there's only three rooms. Yeah, there's only three rooms, okay. You know what would be great is if a 3D version of this was done. Like, you had to manually go to each room in a fully 3D immersed environment. Hmm. Might be a good plan for a new game. I mean, my game that was similar into a house, Sparky's Hunt, but you had to avoid the ghost. Maybe in this one, I could build another house, but you have to hunt for the enemy and scare them away. Bad. Your hunt. Sparky's hunted. Maybe. Okay, whatever. Moving on. Stop self-advertising. I just noticed my microwave in the kitchen as well. It seems a bit tiny. not going to get me. I'm too fast. Still a little bit confused as to um, what those things are behind him. I mean, it looks like he's in two poses at once. I mean, it could be just part of his, uh, part of his whatever that suit is. So someone's using the suit and everyone seems to be dead. I'm convinced I'm dead. Everyone else seems to be. Getting so tired. Yeah, he's keen. But what's really curious to me is ah, oh, damn! What room was that? Okay. Unfortunately, that he made a noise. He doesn't always make a noise, though, when he's in a room. That's one other thing. I mean, look at that door down there. Look at that. I think it's a shutter door. Ah! Nuts! Okay. For a 
second now, I thought the controls froze on me. Did happen a few times in the previous games. Just gotta try to avoid deliberately trying to break it. Don't know where that door where that door goes, but most likely it goes into the basement. I think I may find out soon. Almost done. I think I deserve a drink after this. Just a few. Ooh, don't you get me so near the end? Couldn't I just open the fuse box and switch the lights on and off in every single room? I don't care. We're done. Alex Peterson is dead. I don't know. So many people are dead. <laughs> oh, here we go. Truth of 92. Tragedy. Hidden from reality. Lies of brutality. The truth. Hang on a minute. Do I... Oh no, I've got to choose. I don't think that's particularly fair. I mean, do I have to replay that level again? Or do I have that option if I want to? Okay. Um, well, the truth, I guess. Yes, the truth. Oh no, we get to be the Medusa. Okay. After the tragedy of. Hang on, let's, let's start from the beginning then. On 19th of November 1992, three students brought a fourth one to the roof of the local school. The three bullied the fourth one for a long time. They thought in their head it would be fun to scare the child who had a. High fear of height. Matthew Atkins, a student at the school, witnessed this and ran to the help of the bullied child, Adrian Austin. He ran to the roof and stood up to the bullies. One of the three pushed him away so that they can continue to act of bully. Atkins fell to, the par fell to a part of the roof which had been under construction. And that part of the roof collapsed and under him, causing his death. Okay. The three students, Aidan Carpenter, Maximilian Ma Mathers, Brandon and Carmen, fell in great fear, knowing that they are the cause of the death of Matthew Atkins. They escaped the school as quickly as possible, bringing the bullied child, Adrian, with them. That sounds like Jeff the Killer. The most logical place to hide for them at the moment was local forest. For several days they hid there, while thinking of logical answers, logical answers for their disappearance, 1P, and how they can make Adrian not tell the truth. They finally found the best, most brutal, disgusting way. They walked, why did they do that? They walked to the very middle of the forest and left Adrian there, telling him not to go away. Because they will come back. But they didn't. They arrived back to the school where they were questioned about their disappearance, 1P, and they told that lie that they went to report. The death of Atkins to the police, but they were kidnapped. Now the kidnapper took Adrian in the forest and they'd never seen him again. After the tragedy, Michael Austin fell in deep depression. Killed his teacher, claiming she was on the roof with Atkins. He was sent to prison for eight years, and during his prison time, he really realized the truth about the specific day of 992. I know who was on the roof that day. Adrian Carpenter and Maximilian Mathers changed their names to Aidan Carter and Maximilian Ashworth to hide from their past, but the past could not be hidden. If you're investigating something, you already know the truth of... We are sorry. Man, that's a sad story. Well, at least we now know what happened. It's actually a pretty sad story. But the only thing we can say is... We wish you were here. That's a nice ending. I mean, obviously, you know, the story was gruesome. But still, that was great, and I'm glad I managed to see all the way 1, 2, and 3 up to the final revenge. Now, that's a good ending. It's very rare you find a good ending. And I, I am a fan of happy endings. I mean, I'm not a musical guy myself, you know, but I like a good ending. And it was certainly a good one. Thank you very much for joining me for this, and I will leave a link uh, at the end of uh, this clip to show you the playlists for the first game and the second one. I hope you take the time to, uh, uh, to see it. They are very good. 
I'll leave the credits playing for a bit, and thanks for playing, and thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Keep playing.